If you've been inspired to organize your spaces after watching Marie Kondo's Tidying Up or the Netflix series Get Organized with the Home Edit, but you're not sure where to go from there, we have help. Veteran home organizer Helen Austin, she's here to share her tips on how to apply the stuff you see on these shows into the real world, into your life. Welcome to the show, Helen. Thanks for having me. So what are your top tips to organize on a budget? I know when we watch these shows, I mean, they make it look so easy, but they probably have a lot more resources. They absolutely do. If you think about it, they have an unlimited budget to some extent because they want this final reveal to be, you know, the big everything. So know that you don't have to have a really unlimited high budget. You don't have to have all of those containers. Yes, those containers are pretty great and they can make a big difference. But know that you can actually do a lot of those strategies without, you know, spending an insane amount of money. You're right, because when I think about doing it and then I see how much each container costs, it starts to add up. How do you suggest we put together an organization system that's going to work in our homes? Because, I mean, when you see these things on TV, I want mine to look just as flawless. Well, first and foremost, you really need to know what you have and what you're trying to store. So that means regarding containers, don't go buy containers on the first you know, whim of getting organized. I know that going shopping, we get a really good dopamine hit. Um, it's fun, right? And it's so much more fun to buy stuff than to deal with all of the clutter at home. So go through all of your stuff and sort it. So have everything that belongs in that room, in that room. Then you know what you're trying to store, the volume of that. And then you go and you maybe get containers or repurpose things in your home so that you can actually find your stuff. Everything does need a home, preferably with boundaries, and that will make a big difference for you as well. Yeah, I, I've been cleaning out, and then you forget, oh, I had this thing anyway. Okay, what are some of the resources um, that you can use to find the right organizational system for our homes? And, and also being realistic about a timeline, because it's not going to magically happen in 30 minutes. Sure. So, you know, when you watch uh, a TV show, you see these grand um, changes, right? Um, and they're doing it pretty quickly when they have a large crew. Um, and even when you work with us, we can kind of do things like that as well with my own team. But when you're working on your own, you need to be realistic. So start with just a drawer, just a shelf. Um, I even suggest maybe just starting with a timer and working on a small, small space for that period of time and then revisiting it some other time. A lot of time we bite off more than we can chew. Yeah. And then you overwhelmed and then you've pulled more stuff out so then it maybe even looks worse um so <laughs> that can make a really big difference for you as well also know that you're going to see a lot of really awesome tips and tricks there are a lot of people just like me online giving you all different kinds of ideas and things that you can do to improve your space know that not all tips or tricks work for everyone and i think what we've seen in the most recent show is um this love of color coding um, it does look great. It is really cool. Um, it gives you some color coding is when you rainbow organize something. So in a closet, you'll group all of a certain color together. Not always Roy G. Biv, um, but you'll group them together in such a way that it, sometimes it helps people find what they're looking for. Sometimes it makes it really hard for us to maintain that space because it's another decision, another thing you have to think about, okay, what, where, where do I put this? And if we have to ask ourselves that, that is a barrier to actually being able to keep up with the system that was created for you. So just know that try out, you know, different strategies. If it doesn't work after about three to six weeks, no, try something different because not everything's going to work for everyone. I think that's good advice because, yeah, I have tried that rainbow and then it's like, but this shirt is two colors. Where do I put it? Really? How do we keep yeah. organized? Because when we do it the first time and you get everything in place, it looks great and then the weeks and the days go on and then it's maybe not so organized. Yes, I call this, um, my strategy is the one minute rule. Um, and it's on the front end of getting stuff back into their home. So if an action's gonna take you one minute or less, do it then, do not wait, do not hesitate. And when you think about organizing stuff, we're talking about actions that are five to 10 seconds long, if that even, you know, so make sure you just follow through on these actions that really are not gonna overwhelm your time. And then in addition to that, if you schedule a daily tidy, 10 minutes, it can be morning, it could be night. It's whenever you kind of really feel like you're on your game and motivated. Uh -huh. But if you put that into your every day, you will be able to keep up with the things that don't meet the one minute rule or maybe the times where you just weren't motivated to I do it. I love it. Helen, the daily tidy, I, I think that's a great idea. 
And if you want more organization tips from Helen, she has a lot of good ideas, you can visit her website at organizedbyhelen.com.